Now that we've addressed the value of self-awareness to becoming a reliable leader, let's look at integrity and focus on behaviors that build trust and help to project reliability. We demonstrate integrity by adhering to a moral or ethical code. Others sense our integrity when our words and actions align with our code. It's like watching karaoke. It's usually obvious who's just humming along and who knows the lyrics. When we speak or act incongruent with our code, others notice and question our integrity. This harks back to that childhood message. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. And it's true here. That's not to say that you always have to be positive or overly careful. That's neither realistic nor authentic. However, only venting or being critical or judgmental feeds a negative reputation. In his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey introduces the idea of an emotional bank account. Much like a bank account in which we put aside money for a rainy day, an emotional bank account holds reserves of trust in relationships. Our most meaningful relationships benefit from continuous trust deposits because constant change and growth lead to new dynamics and expectations. Whether at work or in our personal lives, as relationships evolve, having a foundation of trust helps to navigate such change without derailing the relationship. Creating a sense of psychological safety is key for others to trust you. It doesn't mean that you're perfect. It means that you're honest enough to admit when you're struggling and when you've made a mistake. It also means you waste less time navigating awkward relationships in which people question your motives or resist collaboration. With trust as a foundation, your work relationships will flow with less effort and more efficiency, allowing focus on results rather than on constant repairs or workarounds. Stephen Covey's son, Stephen M. R. Covey, expanded on this emotional bank account model in his book, The Speed of Trust which defines effective leadership as getting results in a way that inspires trust. He found that if someone is assessing whether to partner with you on a project, they'll typically weigh three questions related to your integrity. Number one, can I trust you? Number two, do you care about more than just yourself and your own interests? And number three, are you committed to quality results? The junior Covey identifies behaviors that build trust and create trust deposits, helping to outbalance occasional trust withdrawals. Five of the behaviors relate specifically to task-oriented competence. These include delivering results, improving skill and knowledge, confronting reality even when it's difficult or unpleasant, clarifying expectations, and practicing accountability by holding yourself and others accountable for doing what you agree to do. These are important in demonstrating trustworthiness in doing the job. Five other behaviors specifically contribute to building a reliable character reputation, which gets to the ability to lead and influence. These behaviors include, number one, talk straight. Not beating around the bush to avoid conflict or manipulating or misleading people, but instead being honest and straightforward. This means showing kindness, starting with expressing your intent. If you need to address a challenging issue, state your intent up front so that you clarify the purpose for the conversation. Then ensure that your words align with your intent. You can practice this when you have a disagreement with a colleague or perhaps a family member or close friend. Start the conversation by considering what outcome you want from the conversation. Take a moment to consider what might be helpful to state up front, such as, that you want to ensure everyone's needs are addressed or that you care about building a positive, trusting relationship. Then move on with the conversation. Number two, demonstrate respect. This behavior starts with having respect and builds in fairness, kindness, and civility in how you speak and interact with others. It starts with respecting yourself, seriously. Accept that you're not perfect and that you're doing your best and expect that the same holds true of others. If you can practice self-compassion, you will strengthen the ability to practice compassion for others. You'll be more likely to give them the benefit of the doubt and to focus on treating them with respect. Number three, create transparency. Be real and genuine. Tell the truth in a way that people can understand and verify. Be open and authentic, using good judgment in your words. 
Don't rely on a twisted version of the facts, which creates a sense that you're covering up errors, manipulating data, or hiding your agenda. If you know you can't meet a deadline, be clear early and work to adjust the schedule or workload if possible. If you don't know something, be honest about that and agree to do further research if necessary. Early in my analytic career, I was responsible for briefing a senior CIA manager when she arrived at work each morning. In addition to being well-versed in the intricacies of the day's key events, I also was expected to understand where CIA stood on monitoring and analyzing ongoing developments. And I was very junior. The best advice I received, which I still abide by, is never to lie or BS to protect your image or reputation. Others know when your story is inconsistent with what they already know, and it's far better to respond to a question by saying, I don't know, I'll look into it and get back to you, than to make excuses for not knowing, or worse yet, to pretend to know in order to save face. While every senior manager has their own preferences and interests, your integrity will always be a virtue that you should protect far more than your ego. Number four, right wrongs. Quite simply, it's dishonest to pretend you're perfect. Don't ignore or hide mistakes. Don't get defensive or shift blame. And don't apologize insincerely and then rationalize your error. Instead, apologize quickly and take appropriate action to correct the situation. Remember that to be human is to make mistakes, and it's a far bigger mistake to stew about something or to let it grow out of proportion. Even if you can't change or repair the situation, you can apologize and demonstrate integrity going forward. Number five, show loyalty. Give credit to those who deserve it and speak of others as if they were present. When we take credit for others' work, downplay their contributions, disclose their private information, or speak ill of them behind their backs, we undermine our own integrity. Instead, only say something about them that you would say to them directly. Otherwise, people might wonder what you'd say about them when they're not present. It never helps your reputation to speak ill of others. When I first became a manager, I learned that one of my direct reports, an experienced and knowledgeable analyst who trained many new analysts on how to do the job, was complaining about other officers and building a sense of disrespect within the organization. This served as a poor reflection on her, resulting in her being passed over for promotion because the management team did not trust her to demonstrate professionalism in more senior representational roles. While she might have received some sympathy for her perceived victim mentality, it cost her respect that far outweighed the esteem that others held for her knowledge and expertise. You don't need to like every decision or agree with every coworker, but getting defensive, blaming others, making excuses for mistakes, and trying to gain sympathy for being a victim of circumstances never enhances your professional reputation. Being part of a team means supporting the team, including working to address issues constructively, not by bad-mouthing or complaining. Failing to show loyalty leads to loss of integrity and a view of being a problem magnet rather than a problem solver. Instead, Recall your strengths and the four strength domains, executing, influencing, strategic thinking, and relationship building. When you notice that something isn't sitting well with you, consider whether it might be an opportunity to exercise your strengths to improve the situation, be it an analytic challenge, a team or organizational inefficiency, a relationship issue, or a missed opportunity to influence a customer or to partner with a colleague. Reflecting on your strengths and leadership opportunities will build your leadership muscles, demonstrate integrity, and contribute to a reputation for reliability. You might find it useful to rate each emotional bank account for those who matter most at work and beyond. Where do your investments stand? What account might benefit from attention? Taking time to reflect can help to pinpoint areas in need of additional deposits. Like a bank account that increases in value with investments, we gain trust when we invest in emotional savings accounts. Using the Johari window in the self-awareness tips handout to make your own self-assessment and then comparing your view with others' views can help enhance your trustworthiness. If your assumptions don't align with how others view you at work, 
you'll raise questions about your reliability, regardless of your ability to perform the work. Just as continuous substantive learning is essential to improving analysis, continuous personal learning is essential to your own increasing value as an analyst, coworker, and organizational asset. Trust isn't just about having integrity. It's a belief between people that someone is honest and credible. How does this fit with your view of the ideal leader you identified earlier? As an analyst, there's no question that your impact and influence hinges on knowledge, skills, and expertise. However, substantive qualifications will only get you so far. Whether you aspire to make a difference as an individual contributor or to scale the ranks of management, demonstrating integrity helps to build a positive reputation. In our next module, I'll focus on how projecting a professional presence will dramatically increase your reliability.